everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, going to take a look at just a wicked cool 1967 Plymouth GTX convertible. Very rare car, guys. One of just over 600 ever built. Um, if you're a veteran to my videos, this is my favorite car in the world. I love 67 GTXs. I love the body lines on them. Um, just like I say, there's uh, there's very few of these cars that uh, that were ever built, and this one's a nice one, guys. Uh, documented history on it. Looks like it was a four owner car. It was a rotisserie restored car that was now they said it was painted 15 years ago but the actual restoration the mechanical stuff was completed in 2012 there's 6,000 miles on the on the completed restoration outstanding car runs and drives excellent uh, good solid body a uh, lot of documentation it's got a wise report broadcast sheet build card certa card uh, everything on the car's original factory stripe delete car, original gold car, which I thought was super cool. Uh, factory black interior, and just nice. If you know much about these cars, this trim and stuff is not very easy to get. The stuff on this car is very nice. Uh, if there's anything short on it, guys, there's some little spots in the paint that I'll point out. But man, other than that, outstanding car. Again, factory stripe delete. I thought that was pretty cool. That's in the Wise report. Um, very, very nice car, man. You can see the stainless is nice. The glass is nice on the car. All new legendary interior. That is the, uh, but, but it's factory black car, bucket seats console, factory tag and gauges. Love this about this body style. The boots actually fit, they actually work. Uh, brand new black convertible top with a glass rear window. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. You can see it's got a little break in the paint. Again, if you've watched my videos, there's supposed to be a line there. For some reason, body men fill that in every time. And there was, yeah, you can see a little one there. I saw, yeah. Like I say, as you go around the car, you're gonna see some little spots. Again, I might. Would you repaint the car? No, this car is a nice car. But 90% of these people that we sell these cars to, I never meet them. So I just, you know, if I see something, I'm going to point it out. Look how nice the bezels are. I had a, a GTX I restored. It's paid $600 for the bezels and uh, uh, and tail light lenses. Look how nice that tail panel is. Nice car, man. Drives great. Again, a little touch up mark there nice and flat down the sides uh, it's got BF Goodrich Silvertown radial red lines on it uh, 14 inch Magnum 500 you can see it's got the correct uh, chrome exhaust tips on the car all we did was wipe this car down and I am rushing a little bit this morning got to be out of here in the next 30 minutes so I'm trying to get this video done um, got a customer picking up a car so we're rushing yeah, good looking magnums good solid straight car I love the gold man love it on this car and it's body color underneath it was rotisserie restored does have the original engine you can't technically call these cars matching numbers because they didn't have vins on the block but as you can see in the wise report um, Everything matches up with the date code, so it should be the complete correct uh, drivetrain. 440, 375 horse, stock four barrel, stock intake, stock exhaust manifolds, power steering. Got the correct 26 inch Mopar radiator in it, manual drum brakes. All your body numbers are correct. Uh, 727 torque flight automatic transmission. And turnkey, man, this thing drives awesome. I wouldn't be afraid to get in this car and drive anywhere. It hits the road great.
I've uh, got a couple emails, a couple of text messages from the guys over at the Mopar show that just went by. Uh, everybody reaching out, where the heck were you? Guys, I'm a grandpa. My oldest son, Nathan, that a brand, brand new little baby girl, Hudson. So uh, I had to miss this year. But uh, I noticed I got, I got a couple text messages, a couple of phone calls, a couple of emails. And I am sorry, but uh, I'll be there next year. Get strike the leak. Looks like it's got the original uh, E-Pillar Chrome, which is in pretty good shape. Really nice shape, actually. A little wear, but nice. Uh, original uh, Chrome mirrors. Uh, looks like they've replaced the door handles. All the stainless is nice. The window fuzzes have definitely been replaced. New door rubbers. Yeah, you know, little touch-up mark that they. Yeah. Like I say, that's that's you know as you walk around it, you're going to see some of that. But still, very very nice, guys. Door jams are clean again. This is all new legendary interior, bucket seats, factory console, factory dash, factory tack works, power top, it works excellent, fit on it's excellent. Uh, I've got a couple pictures of it with the top up. Cracking your steering wheel there. 6,015 miles, that's on your restoration. All the gauges work, blower motor work, AM radio works, tack works. Um, dual exhaust. Factory eight and three quarter three two three sure grip. Uh, factory jack with a spare is in the trunk here. Sorry guys, you're walking around. I, got, I can see you guys seeing wax on it, but that was actually done before us because uh, we just wiped it down. Uh, jacks here, you can see it's still got the insulation on the quarters. So we'll pull the. Again, original body color still in the trunk. Spare is in here. Again, here is uh, some title information on the vehicle. Again, here's the WISE report. And yeah, there's uh, um, the build tags in there, uh, uh, broadcast sheets in there. Cool car, man. But the only thing I didn't see working was the uh, reverse lights. Very nice underneath. It is body color. I love this body style, man. I had a red Hemi 67 that just, man, I loved. I believe at one time it was the nicest one in the country. And in fact, it won the Mopars at Carlisle show. Seats have been all repadded and foamed. All your interior lights seem to be working. Like I say, that tack works. Dash pad's nice. Radio, uh, it, it worked. A little crack in your center console. Cool, cool car, man. Yeah, just runs just as sweet as can be. Gets the road great. I mean, this thing really runs out good. Get a little rev on. Like I say, it really drives out good. I love the front ends. I love those hoods on those car on these cars. The only thing I wish this car had. One, I love the uh, uh, fender mount turn signals on these cars. It, this does not have that option. Gauges are all functional. Uh, tack works down there. Again, uh, the power top works great. Brakes on. Turn signals. I don't think those were working. No. Can I get a little rep? Uh, turn 
that uh, radio on, it does come on. And it takes a second to warm up, and then you may have to move the station. Tack works. works. Yeah, doors open and close real nice. Wipers. Headlights. Wipers on and turn back off, they'll park. There you go. Turn signals. Horn. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram and our Facebook page. Again, uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. You can do that by clicking the little button there at the bottom. That way, you get a notification every time I post a new video, guys.